Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be beginning a series where we try to rebuild the North Queensland Cowboys. So, as you can see, I have put in all of this year's new teams with the new jerseys and signings. And let me know if you want a video on how to do that. So, now we've got the option to select a sponsor. We'll go for the one that not particularly pays the most money but that is most realistic of us doing out of these three that would have to be this middle one make the finals which was my goal anyway for the first season at least and now we get to choose management and it it costs a fair bit for this top one uh, the middle one is the cheapest but they're the worst so I'm going to go for the top one So now we've got a bit of pre-season going and I'm going to select my lineup. So let's head into the first match. So here we are at 1300 smiles. Cowboys vs Dragons. Hope the Cowboys get off to a good start here. I don't know what's happened to the Dragons jersey. Something odd happened. But here come the Cowboys for the first pre-season game. So it'll be Lomax to kick it off for the Dragons. Let's go. Straight to Tabby Ifado. Oh, got round him on the first tackle. Give it off to Townsend. Oh, and he's knocked it on on the fifth tackle. Dragons get the advantage. Fifth and last. And it's a knock on from the Dragons. Cowboys. You could say they've been saved a bit, to be honest. Tried to put it on the boot, but straight to a Dragons defender. Oh, through a gap. Lomax. He's been chased down by Tamalolo, who is the heaviest player for the Cowboys by far. Got a little flick out the back. Last tackle. Granville's through. Will he score? Yes, he will. And that's the first points in this career. First points in this rebuild is Jake Granville who scores off the bench. It's a good try. He's got this kick to land here, Val Holmes. Should be pretty simple. And it is. So 6 0 Cowboys. So Lomax kicking off after that try. To Hamasai Tabuai for Doe. What's this? He stepped around too. For some reason, he doesn't have the pace to beat them. Will he beat Zach Lomax? And the Cowboys score again, and it's Peter Hiku with his first drive of the afternoon. I thought he knocked that on, to be honest. I've got no clue what happened there. That would have been a disaster had he knocked that one on. Take the kick back a bit. Val Holmes has got a tough one here. Be very happy coach if he nails this. It's coming back and it's hit the uprights. That was a good conversion attempt from Val Holmes. From right on the sideline. I find surprising. Should be the last play of the half. And it is, and that's half time. 10 0 to the Cowboys over the Dragons. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to um, record after half time, which is a bit silly from me. But I'll show you the 
replay of the try after I've kicked this conversion. If I do, and I do, that is a great kick from Val Holmes. So here's that try. It was chip and chase from Peter Hiku. For some reason, they went to the bunk hole. But yeah, an easy try for Val. Sorry, for Peter Hiku in the end. Good chip, and he scored. Fourth tackle. Oh. Got to feel bad for the Dragons. Some great defence being shown from the Cowboys here. Almost beat him to it, and the Dragons are going to score. I jinxed it, didn't I, by saying the Cowboys have been defending really well. But just a fumble from the Cowboys. I don't know what happened there. So you look at the replay. Yeah, he's just dropped it. Will they kick it though? That is the question. They should kick this one. About 14 metres out. Just to the right of the post. And he gets it comfortably. Good take. And that'll be the match and the Cowboys will win it. 16-6 in the end. So here we go for that high tackle. He's got a too much ban if we choose to not dispute it. Too much suspension. But I just leave it as guilty because that was a blatant high tackle. Oh, and Hamas like Tabio Fado's been done with the same one, same different grade but uh, same penalty. For a high tackle, he'll get a one match ban if we let him go as guilty. So, welcome to McDonald Jones Stadium. It's an afternoon kickoff, the last round of pre season Cowboys versus Knights. Just two changes for the Cowboys drink water in for W.I. Fado and Jeremiah Nanai in. For Jason Taumalolo. And here's the lineup the Knights will be going with at the bottom of the screen. It's a strong lineup. I think this one will be a close one. So something really weird's happened here. Why have they got Mitch Barnett kicking? Why have they got Mitch Barnett kicking? He's a lock. What? Why isn't... No, this is weird. Oh, well, here we go. Second match of preseason. Last match of the episode. It's taken by Kelvin Harris. God, oh, it's been given a forward pass. Wow, that is a shocking call from the referee. Maybe just, I'm not too sure about it. But it'll be a Newcastle scrum. Got past him. Try to go for a grubber. And that will be half time. It's nil all at half time. Between the Cowboys and Newcastle. So it's our kick off here. Fair bit of wind around. So that's a good run by Daniel. This is the last. That is an absolute shank and it's dead in goal. Oh no, it gets past. Oh no, that's not good, Ben Condon's injured here, he's gone off, off. point but it would be a first.
Last tackle. They should have about a minute or so of in-game time. So have a crack at this. Try to keep it alive. And that's the full-time buzzer. Jeez, thought the Knights were going to score there from the intercept. So, should go into gold. So whoever scores a point first wins the match. This Val Holmes made a great run. Passing it out wide. It's a knock on from the Cowboys. Got a full set of six to get as close as they want to kicking a field goal here in Newcastle. Cowboys, do they have something left? Can they force a spill? Don't know why Newcastle go out wide. He's going to score. And Edric Lee wins the match for the Newcastle Knights. No way. Some very, very poor defence from the Cowboys. I cannot believe it. The Knights win by four points. It's 4 0 to Newcastle. So after that match, it means in pre season the Cowboys get a 50% win record, which is a decent pre season. And Ben Condon's out for 18 days, which means he'll miss at least the opening round. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe, as usual. In round one of the regular season, we play the Canberra Raiders. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and sub. See you next time.